For this evening, windy, mild, 69 degrees. Later on tonight, you see the yellow triangle. That means impacting you if you're going to be out midnight shift or beyond. Scattered showers begin 54. And that may be our highest temperature for tomorrow as we'll be even colder in the afternoon. So kind of a topsy turvy day for you. Here's a look at first alert future scan. Nine going to the 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock hour, still midnight. Some showers still hesitant to make that progress to the east of us, but it will. And here's a good line of showers and thunderstorms popping up between say midnight, three in the morning. Still could uh, affect the morning drive as well, but it's spotty in nature. Not everybody's going to see it, but still can't get rid of the rain. Here's the third line that'll move through nine in the morning, but it all sweeps farther to the east. And some of those could have a little bit of that hail I was talking about. But as you see here, not a widespread severe weather event. But what you don't see here is the colder air that'll be in by noon. As I mentioned, it's going to be blustery as temperatures will be chillier and the winds just as strong as they were today. So that's why the numbers are weird. You see, usually when we do the lows, well, the morning temperature will be 54. The afternoon temperature will be 41. You get the idea. Impact day for you. Wednesday, though, back to normal, if you will. Freezing in the morning, 56, so the afternoon will be warmer then. Heading into Thursday, 57, still close to freezing. Same on Friday, high temperature then of 54. Then looking towards Saturday, that's our next chance of rain that'll be impacting you. And then finally getting closer to the 60s for next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And our morning temperatures rising a little bit, but staying pretty much in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees.